Okay guys, I wanted to come on here and give y'all a review of the selfie printer. I had um, shown where I was making my small pictures for my journal and it's from this beautiful tiny little printer right here. This is the most uncomplicated <clears throat> little printer I've seen. You can close it up, take it places with you. This is the paper, this is the body. I've got it plugged in over here. You can see that it's on. It's connected to my Wi-Fi. You just have to set that up. When you get ready to put your paper in there, it goes in there just like this. You don't ever want to touch your film, your paper. Uh, when you're putting it in, keep your fingers around the edges because <laughs> Allie Brown took it out and was showing everybody and was just touching it and when she printed her pictures her pictures her fingerprints were all over it so I learned that from her it just snaps right in no problem at all there and I did a lot of research I looked at the um, the ones the little handheld ones the little zinc ones the pogo uh, there's another one I can't remember. The film is very expensive and uh, the film is made into the pictures and I guess that's the reason it's very expensive and it only made small ones. What I like about this is it makes a 4 by 6 Now I don't always want a 4 by 6 so I'm going to show you how I print my small pictures. When you order this is what you'll get. I get mine from Amazon. You get 108 sheets for $30. Now, most of the time when I print mine, I have three to four pictures on my 4x6, which means I'm getting 400 and something pictures for $30. You just can't beat that. You get just enough ink for this pitch amount of pictures. And it is so super simple. I don't think it would bother my ink to take it out but I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. This is what the ink cartridges look like. You open the side right here. It just opens down. You slip that right in, and you close it. That's all there is to it. It is super, super simple. Now, it comes with three ink cartridges, and it knows exactly how many pictures you can print on this. Once it says to change it, you have to change it. You can't stretch it any further. Because what it does, it transfers, it dyes the ink on. And I'm going to show you. But I got three ink cartridges and all the paper. This is the first box that I've had to order since getting my selfie. So it's going a long way. Now I'm filming with my phone. And I usually... Do all my pictures off my phone but I'm going to show you how I do this. I download, there's several apps that you can use but I use Stitch the most and what I do on Stitch, I have no idea what pictures I've got on here but it comes up like this and most of the time oh you want me to turn you around okay iPads drive me crazy <laughs> Most of the time, I use just the traditional, mm -hmm. See, it's, and, and they give you a free layout of the day every day also with Pick Stitch that you can do um, something, you know, something different, something special on. Okay, I use this one, just the four. I do sometimes use a different one. Now, the... Um, most important thing that you've got to do with this when printing onto this is to um, pick the you've picked your layout. Now you what this automatically comes up is a one by one. So what you've got to do, you've got to go to either four by six this way or four by six this way because you're going to be printing on a four by six. So. All right, I'm going, I'm going this direction. Let me see. Let me go in here and pick out some pictures. I don't make pictures much on this. So this is going to be some old pictures here. Okay. Well, that one seems like it's just going to let me just slide it on over. Okay. Does a little different on your 
on your iPad. On my phone, I pick all four pictures and then slide them over. But this one does a little differently. Okay, now if you get one that you see that is going to fit more, and, and like down here you can do effects. You can pick all different effects. Let's make it make it real bright there. Okay, apply it. Okay, now um, you can go back and you can do frames. It's showing me it's showing me all this because this is the first time I've done it on here. I don't want all that cancel that anyway it's got all these different effects that you can use down here but I'm just gonna say done now as you can see okay okay quit telling me all this stuff <laughs> as you can see that cuts part of that picture off but what you can do here is to go here and change the orientation and I'm gonna turn it this way so that when I get back to it then I can slide it over and I've got the whole cake there Isn't that neat all right I'm gonna slide this one over and I'm going to change the orientation on that one. I'm going to tell it it's done. And then I'm going to pick, let's see, one here are my grandbabies and my great niece. And I'm just going to leave that one turned that way so it'll be more close up. There's your four pictures. That's a four by six. You've got four pictures on it. Now I'm going to tell it to export it. And it's going to give me an ad. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now let's export it. I can save it to my photo album as it is. Or because I'm right here and I know this is the only the one time I want to print it, I'm going to tell it to print. It says select printer. Because I, like I said, I don't normally print off this. Here's my Canon selfie that it's picking up. And I could also print this in black and white if I wanted to, or leave it in color as it is. Black and white postcard. We don't want black and white. Okay. So I just tell it to print. And then comes the magic. It is so quick, so easy. And like I said, a little different. On here, I should have tried it out before I did it. On my phone, it actually has me to go in and to select four pictures and then goes back to this, which this was easier, actually, than it was on my cell phone, but my pictures are not on my iPad. So, um, but it is getting a, it says right here that it's busy. It's communicating right now. You always want to make sure and keep the area back here, back behind it clear because your pictures are going to go out that way. As it's printing, it's going to pull it back and forth. It will apply, first of all, let me show you. It goes out. It's going to come back. It's applying the yellow to the picture. Look at that, how neat. Then it goes back, and it comes back, and it applies the magenta to it. Look at that. And then it's going to go back. And it's going to come back and it's going to be full color with a completely dry finish on it when it comes through. Look at that. The very, okay, that's the final color and then it's going to come through and be dry. So four little times it has to pull it through. And let me just tell you, the very minute that it prints out, it is dry. Nothing wet on it. Is that not amazing? Now, because it is this kind, you do have these two little strips on the end that you take off, and there is your perfect four pictures that you can cut out. And that's the reason I was telling you I liked to round the edges on mine, on one of the other ones I showed you. But you just cut them out. We turned this one, so it, it ended up... Being, so you can, you can make vertical and horizontal pictures all at the same time. Folks... That is cheap right there, and that's right here at your house. I paid a hundred, I believe a hundred and thirty-four, I believe for this thirty dollars. It came with a certain amount of ink and paper to start with. It's um, it works off of my Wi-Fi here at home. It can connect to my Wi-Fi. 
Um, like I said, I print off of my camera most of the time and then I delete my pictures. I love this. I was sending pictures like this to Walgreens to get printed all the time. And they were inexpensive, but oh, so inconvenient. And then I just lost my mojo for journaling just because now I have this right at my fingertips. The picture quality to me is great. It's as good. You can sharpen. There's a lot of effects that you can use on pick stitch that I chose not to use. But you could really work. You can do textures, borders. You can even round your corners um, by doing layouts. That's like a 99 cents borders pack. I just, I don't mess with that. But you can do all these different layouts. All of these, you know, you can do just like a regular four by six. And sometimes I will do like this. And just, and, and I'm, I'm serious, this is easier on the iPad. I just don't. And see, if I wanted to change the lighting, I could change the brightness on this. Let's make it, making it lighter. If I wanted to do something like that, I can do, uh, I can like do that on there. Uh, you can fix blemishes. You can blur it. You can take out red eye. You can draw. You can put text on it. And then you can just move it around. Say my kids on there. I mean, is that not awesome? And then I could just print that straight out to a four by six. Is that not adorable? I need to write on more of mine because I really like that. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is where you have like a, a top and a bottom text. So I really like Pick Stitch. I know a lot of people use different uh, programs, but as you can see, this is super, super, super simple. Uh, there's just so much you could do to it, and the selfie printer to me is great. I will add the link for the printer and for the paper that goes with it. But I hope this helps y'all and lets you know when you see pictures in my journal and in my bullet journal, this is exactly how I do it. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.